Hello, friends. Welcome to Circle Time. I am Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team, and today I have Sophie here. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Caroline. Hi, friends. I am so excited to be here for a day at Circle Time, and it looks like we might be going to the beach today. We are. Let's put our sunglasses on. Okay. I'm getting ready for it then. Oh, let's be sun safe with our sunglasses and our hat if you have one. So we're going to go with our friends to the beach and we are going to read a story called Team Leader about our friends cleaning up the beach. <gasps> Great. Well, let's get into it. Team Leader by Cynthia Platt. Alo, Sandy, and Peck arrived at the beach one day and noticed something was off. The beach is a mess, Alo exclaimed. Somebody needs to clean it up. We can all clean the beach, Peck said. Yes, Alo agreed. Let's get started right away. What do we need to do, Alo? Sandy asked. Alo looked around. He wasn't sure where to start. He also hadn't realized that his friends would expect him to lead their team. Just look around and see what you want to clean, Allah told them. Peck began working right away, but... Peck, what are you doing? Allah asked. Cleaning up the trash so Sandy can bag it up, Peck replied. Alo watched Sandy work. Sandy, you shouldn't sweep away shells and rocks, Alo told her. They belong on the beach. Oh, Sandy replied, what should I do instead? Both of his friends were looking to him, but how could Alo help them? Friends, what do you think Alo should do? Hmm. Well, it looks like Peck and Sandy want Olo to be a leader. And that would mean helping his friends figure out a great way to clean up all the trash on the beach. Being a leader wasn't easy. Olo wasn't sure he could do it. But if the beach was clean, it would be healthier for everyone. It was a good reason to try extra hard. So Alo tried to figure out what a good leader would do. A leader should listen, Alo thought. Mm. He should pay attention to the others on his team. He should think about what needs to be done and how. He should also stop Peck from using that spray bottle. We need a plan, Alo told his friends. Let's see what really needs to be done. There's litter everywhere, Sandy said. And there's a lot of seaweed on the wheelchair ramp, Peck added. I'll help with those, Alo agreed. And if we have time, that bench could use a fresh coat of paint. The friends eagerly got to work on their tasks. Can you see what Sandy is carrying on that top picture? Ooh, I asked our friends and it looks like Sandy is carrying a recycling bin. Mm -hmm. Friends, do you know what that is? Hmm. Well, we've seen one before in places like our classrooms and maybe even at a store or in our house. And it's where you put all the trash that can actually get taken away to a place where they turn that trash into something new and they reuse it, which we call recycling. That's why we call it a recycling bin. It's for all the things we might be able to reuse. Oh, what kind of things can you recycle? Hmm, well, uh, 
it looks like Sandy is holding a paper cup and I think you can recycle paper and cardboard and then you can recycle plastics. Sometimes I get confused about what plastics I can recycle and if you look really closely at the bucket that Sandy is holding, there's a little symbol and that is the recycle symbol. And sometimes that's even on the plastic so that you know it can go in the recycling bin. It's amazing. That's right. I've seen a bottle that has that recycling symbol on it and sometimes it has a number on it too. So it's the type of recycling. Oh, how interesting. So why should we recycle things? Why don't we just put them in the normal trash? Well, if we were to throw everything away, it's a lot of work, first of all, to take everything away, and then it has to go somewhere. And so for our earth, mm. it's a lot better if we can reuse things and recycle things to make new things. Otherwise, over time, all of that garbage can just start piling up and piling up, or sometimes worse yet, it can get into our oceans. We'll be reading about that. Should we keep reading? Yeah, great. We did it. Thanks for helping us get organized, Olo cheered Sandy. You're a great leader, added Peck. The three of us are a good team, replied Olo. After all, being a leader means being part of a team. Should we do some questions related to this book? Yeah. All right, here's a question. What did Olo do as a leader? I think there are a few things that he did. The first one says he was part of a team. Was that part of what he did as a leader? Yes, I think so. The second one says he came up with all the ideas. Mm, no, I think that he had some ideas, but so did Sandy and Peck. That's right. So I don't think he came up with all of the ideas. He, and the third one is he worked by himself. Is that right? I don't think that's right. I think he had a lot of help from his team, Sandy and Peck. That's right. And the fourth one is he listened to his friends. Mm, I do think that early on when he was thinking about being a leader, Olo decided that he needed to listen first, not just talk right away or come up with all the ideas. So yeah, I think he listened to his friends, Sandy and Peck. Great. Good job. And here's another question. How did the friends clean up the beach? The first one is they picked up some garbage. I think they did that. They smoothed out the sand. I don't remember that. Yeah. They moved seaweed off the ramp. I think so. And they painted the bench. They did that one too. So yeah. They did a lot of things to help clean up the beach. Mm -hmm. Good thinking. <laughs> So now we have a word to make. Can we make the word beach? Can you hear what sound is in the middle of the word beach? It's the long E sound. So let's go through e. these. A I A makes the A sound. O A O and E A E. Should we try that one? Yeah, that sounds like the E sound to me. E. Good thinking. You spelled B. 
beach. That's the word beach. And so now here's a sentence. We can all clean the beach. I think there are three words here that have the long E sound. Can we find some of those words? Mm. This is tricky, but I think we can. I think we has a long E sound. Can all clean? That's a long E sound, clean. And we know that beach has a long E sound too. Beach. That's right. And clean and beach both have an E A that makes the long E sound. And the word we just has an E. Awesome. Those words have the E sound. Here's another sentence. See what you want to clean. Can you find the two words with the long E sound? Hmm. I think C has a long E sound. And I think my friends are helping me. Clean has the long E sound too, Caroline. Clean. That's right, Sophie. Super! Those words have the E sound. One more sentence. Lead by being part of a team. This one has three words with the long E sound. Can you find them? Yes. I think if we say lead, we can hear a long E sound. So lead lead by being I think being has a long e sound being part of a team and team we know that has the e a long e sound team cool those words have the e sound Now we get to find the things that have the long E sound and put them into the drawer here. Let's tap on them so we can hear what they are. Meal. Meal. Does that have the long E sound? Yes. And beach, this looks like beach. a beach. Beach has the long E sound. Team. Team has the long E sound. Seat. Seat. You found them. Great. Should we read one more book today that's also related to the beach? <gasps> yes, I love reading books that are about the beach. Let's read one more. Great, let's do it. The Problem with Plastic. And this is a National Geographic book. A sea turtle swims in the ocean. It spots a jellyfish. But is it really a jellyfish? Hmm, what do you think, friends? Should we tap the thing that looks like a jellyfish? Let's try. You did it! Do you think it is a jellyfish? What else could it be? No, it's a plastic bag. The sea turtle eats the bag. It thinks the bag is a jellyfish. Plastic can make sea turtles sick. And plastic can hurt other ocean animals. Some think plastic is food. Others get stuck in it. So friends, this is a picture that shows what happens if we put our garbage or leave our garbage on the beach, and then maybe it flows into the ocean. What do you see happening? 
Well, now the plastic is in the ocean and that's where all the ocean birds and animals live. So the jellyfish looks like it might get caught in the plastic bag and the seagull is already all caught up in a piece of plastic. It looks like something that holds all the cans of drink together. And I think one of those drinks might be about to be gobbled up by a fish and that poor old fish is swimming around with lots of plastic. Looks like there's a food container there and some wrappers, maybe from some candies. There's just a lot of garbage in the ocean with the fish that will make it sick and not very happy. That's right, the poor fish. Some plastic we use only one time, then we throw it away. We make a lot of plastic trash and some of it gets into the ocean. So we have a picture here of all that plastic trash on a beach. And then another picture below of the seahorse and some more plastic in the ocean. You can help solve the problem. Cut back on plastic you throw away. Which ways will you choose? There is a list of ways that we can cut back on plastic. Should we read through them? Yes. Sip from a cup, not from a plastic straw. Pack food in reusable containers. I have one of those containers right here. So do I. That is a good idea to reuse your container so you don't have to throw them away. Bring a reusable bag to the store. Put water in a reusable bottle. Great job. Thanks for reading with me. Well, that was a great book about different ways we can recycle and reuse things so that we don't turn them into all that trash that can end up in the ocean. And after all that reading, I'm a bit thirsty. So let's have a little drink out of our reusable water bottles. Mmm. Mmm. And the thing about this water bottle is you can use it lots of times. You don't need to throw it in the trash after using it just one time. That's what's so great about it. Friends, do you have a favorite reusable water bottle? What color is it? Why do you like it? Oh, that's so great you have a reusable water bottle. What should we do next, Caroline? Well, another thing that people like to do is to make projects out of recycled materials. Wow. And some people use boxes or paper or paper from magazines and they can make it into projects. Hmm. So that's a really good way of reusing materials too, to do something creative. And we have a friend, Sam, who's going to join us today. And he did a very special project out of magazine paper, recycled magazine paper. And guess what he made? He made a collage hmm. of one of our favorite friends. Hmm. Any guesses on who? Some of our friends are yelling, Sandy, or Peck, or Olo, or Cody. It's Cody. And our friend Sam is going to show us how he made a Cody collage. Welcome to Collage with Sam. Thanks for joining me today. And we are going to learn how to color Cody the bear using only collage magazine paper squares. If you've looked, tuned into us before, you've seen Kim in the art room demonstrate how to draw Cody. Today, we're going to jump right into our collage project by pouring uh, a, a nice big pouring of glue into our trough. Also, using gloves to make sure we protect our clothes and our skin. 
we're going to start looking through magazines and tearing out and cutting out pieces of paper that are going to be used in about stamp size squares and applied directly right onto our canvas and onto our drawing. You really can use magazine paper to kind of find all the colors that you're looking for, whether it's greens or blues or reds or purples. You know, all the things that we're looking for are inside the magazine. So we're going to cut out the colors we need. We're especially looking for this really bright teal kind of green and also yellows that are going to use for Cody's face and for his, his muzzle there. And then also we're going to think about ideas for Cody's eyes, the white and the blacks, and also the, uh, the big pink colored ears that he has that are so cute. And, um, and you're really going to be able to kind of add some extra fun elements like hearts or, or um, any kind of other little drawings or other elements that make it just special to yours. I hope you'll join me for my next class. Thank you so much. My name is Sam Les Price, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Sam. I loved that Cody collage. And friends, now it's time for show and tell. We have five friends who have sent us their projects and they've made things out of recycled materials. So our first art project is from Maya. And she said, it's an artwork about corals and the sea, a little bit of leaves, some rocks and corals. So it sounds like she might have also gone to the beach. And this is Kenzie and she used recycled materials to make an instrument. What do you think she used to make this guitar? It looks like Kenzie used maybe a tissue box and some string. And our next one is Veer. And Veer made this turtle out of several things. What do you think he used? Well, it looks like he used some kind of a paper bowl. So maybe some food came in that, like a salad or a soup maybe came in it. And then he turned it upside down and painted it to make the turtle shell. And it looks like he used some green paper as well. And maybe that was reused from some other thing that he did. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like Veer loves to make projects and he actually sent us a second project that is a car made out of more recycled material. I think he used a box and some cups and paper plates also. So we're gonna show you a video of Veer and his car. I wanted to show you this car that, that my mom and I made out of recycled material. We, we got a box and we cut out a Really for from paper plates, and then we got windshield wipers, and then we use cups for the headlights. And our next show and tell is Nolan, who made Stuffy World, and he is going to show us all about Stuffy World and how he used recycled materials to make it. This is Stuffy World, and. I really like it because of the how we used it out of cardboard boxes. And this is my favorite part because you can see that it's it's almost the tallest thing. And there's a secret entrance down here. This opens up and then there's basically a big um space and there's a table and this is the airplane it can go off this bridge and fly off um this is a hotel you can see that we made little doors and that's what's in the little doors you can see that if you go in this door you can go in the um heel 
And back here is the tower, which is the tallest thing yet. Um, this is a, you can see what it says. Universe protection, whoa. Um, and this is the stuff you walk it. And this is the thing that holds it up. This gives it a little more protection. And so that's why I really don't want this to fall or this because that could knock down that and that. And this could knock down that and then that could knock down that and then that and then that. And then that, and then that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nolan. That was so cool. That stuffy world for all your stuffed animals is amazing. Made out of so many cardboard boxes. And our last show and tell for the day is from Liliana and Theodore. And they used a cardboard box to make a puppet show stage with all of the Khan Academy characters. Wow, Liliana and Theodore, let's check this out. Hi, Khan Academy kids. My name is Lily. Theo. My name is Lily. And I'm Theo. And we recycled this cardboard box into a puppet show stage. Pop. The. No, the. Puppet show. Oh. This is Cody. That's Raya. That's Olo. That's Sammy. And that's Pat. Thank you, Liliana and Theodore. That was amazing. Friends, if you have something you would like to share with us, you can get your grown up, your mom, your dad, maybe to send it in to us here at Circle Time and we will show all of our friends the things that you make, the things that you draw, anything you like. And we'd love to see even more projects with recycled materials. I'm sure that you have a lot of things around your house that you could use in your projects. Well, we have to say goodbye for now, but we will see you next time on Circle Time. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye for now. Bye friends.